Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to make your own head pins at home. We always come across the time where you need a certain length of head pin. You might need a short one, you might need a long one. And when you buy fabricated head pins, they always come in standard sizes. Like, you know, you can have a long or short. And if you require different lengths, it means you have to buy certain number of packs of different size of head pins. So to avoid that, all you need is just a wire. Now, to make the head pins, I recommend using any gauge of wire between 22 and 26. 26 is the tiniest uh, wire you can use uh, to make your head pins. And 22, and this is the 22 gauge wire, I'm gonna show you how to make this today. These are perfect to make the head pins. You could still make the head pins with 20 gauge wire, but that will require a bit of strength to make the loops and tighten the loops as well. So to make the head pins at home, all you need is a wire. Now I'm using 22 gauge pink wire. Uh, you can use anything 22, 24 or 26 and the color, of course, the one you need. And from tools, you need your chain nose pliers, your round nose pliers. And now round, my round nose pliers, they have these cutters there. So if yours don't have, you will also need cutting pliers and you will need your nylon jaw pliers. Now, this is not mandatory. You can always straighten your wire with your chain nose pliers, but I'm going to show you if you have one at home, it's very handy and I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's get to work. So we're going to start with the wire. Uh, now, depending on the length of the head pin you require, make sure you have the specific length you need. Let's say you need five centimeters. Make sure you measure out five centimeters and on top of that, add one and a half centimeter or let's say uh, half an inch if you are in States. That half an inch or one and a half centimeter will go to the head pin. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm just going to cut any length of wire I'm comfortable working with. So, and we're gonna start with the tip, very tip of your round nose pliers and the very tip of the wire. And you want to make teeny tiny loop. Now, here I made one loop, we have to make that double. So I'm just gonna continue. Making that into double loop. Now here, you can see that it's two loops, like double loop, and I will continue it just a bit more. Now you can see it here. And I'm gonna take my runner's pliers through the other side, take the, end of, uh, take the rest of the wire and bend it upwards. Now, this is how it looks like. And I'm going to take the end of the other other end of the wire, take it through the loop we made and just pull it. Now you can just use your hands to pull it or what I do, I just use my chain nose pliers and pull it. Now it's ready. It's just, you know, <laughs> because of all the manipulations we did, it's just a uh, weird shape. Now we're going to fix that. Just take your uh, chain nose pliers and turn that 90 degrees that's how it's supposed to look and we're gonna take this nylon jaw pliers and just slide it and here you have your head pin now i'm gonna show it again one more time if you miss some details i'm gonna just take any length of the wire I'm gonna start with the very tip of the wire and the very tip of my round nose pliers and make a double loop. That's that's one. I'm gonna continue. Make it double and just a bit more. That's how it looks. I'm going to take my round nose pliers through the other side, bend the rest of the wire upwards, take the other end of the wire and take it through the loop we made and just pull it. Now 
Now it's ready. It's all twisted up. I'm just going to take my chain knot pliers, straighten up the head pin, take the nylon jaw pliers and just slide it. And here we have two perfect head pins. So that's how you make your own wire wrapped head pins. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope I taught you something new in this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you leave your thumbs up, leave your questions in the comments section if you have any and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!